up guys, my name is Morgan Kino. First of all, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, to watch whatever it is that I'm doing here. I'm gonna be competing in a powerlifting competition in about seven weeks, and I decided, hey, you know what? Just, just document it, put it out there. Maybe you could help someone that's thinking about competing in the future, or maybe you can inspire someone out there to just keep moving, uh, to lift some weights, to get in better shape, to just better themselves. So the, these are my notes, by the way. Number one, what is this channel gonna be about? What can you expect? I wanna put out some good content. And by good content, I mean put out some good information, make it entertaining, and just help inspire people, okay? Number two, I enjoy taking this camera out everywhere, uh, shooting video, taking pictures, anything of that nature. And I decided I want to use this platform, this YouTube thing, to create videos, um, not just about training, but anything that I enjoy doing in my life, like hikes or hanging out with friends, getting some good beer, some good coffee, traveling, anything, anything that has to do with my life. I want to record it with my camera and create something, something beautiful, something special. And maybe down in the future, I could look back at these videos and just smile when I see the things I've created to see how horrible these videos probably are and then how, how much better they've gotten over the years. Oh yeah, so I enjoy the vlog style of YouTube. I'm gonna be making some vlogs about anything and everything that I wanna vlog about. Uh, and that could be anything that has to do with the gym, it could do when I go on hikes, it could be when I go on vacations, anything. I want to do some vlogs. I am truly fascinated by it. It's like a movie that you create, like a five minute movie of your life. So if you guys are into any of the stuff that I just explained, you're into like vlogs, into fitness, into lifting some heavy, heavy ass weights, then this is the channel for you. If you're not into any of that stuff, if you're not into lifting, if you're not into having a brewski here and there, if you're not into coffee, you might as well just leave. And then anything else, if you're not into any of these things, just this is not the channel for you. If you're into those things, if you're into like having a good time, being positive, feeding off good people, then th this is the channel for you. I wanna make sure every video I put out, you leave happy. I wanna make sure I put a smile on your face. I wanna make sure I inspire people. I just wanna put out some good energy out there, just positive, positive energy. So that's what this channel is gonna be about. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I made myself clear. I don't wanna redo this. So we're gonna live with this. We're gonna stay with this. Okay, so for the first video, I did a voiceover of this week's training and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's dive into it because this video is already too long. All right guys, so this was my heavy deadlift session, um, which was on Sunday, I believe. Um, the goal was to hit a single at an RPE eight which was supposed to be 555 pounds. Um, I don't know why I did 545. This was a, a warm-up single. It moved very good, but I shouldn't have done it. The last warm-up I should have done was 510 pounds. Um, and then hit this set right here, which is 555. The goal for this pull was just to keep composure and keep my back tight and be in real good position before I initiate the pull. In the past, I've had problems where I just kind of get a little too excited and I get hyped and I get out of position even before I pull the weight off the floor, which then makes it a little harder at lockout. But um, I was real happy with this session um, for my singles. My singles went really good. And then this set, this was my last set here. I'm not going to show you guys all of my sets uh, just because this video is already too long. Um, but this one, I believe this is the last rep. No, this on this last rep, I hurt my groin because <laughs> these hex plates suck. They move out of position after every rep, and I was just a little too lazy, and I didn't get myself in proper position oh, as far as moving the weights in the in the right uh, place. So then I kind of hurt my groin a little bit, but uh, I was all right. I'm all right now. No big deal. Right here, this was bench press. Uh, I hit 295 pounds, four sets of six. For bench press, honestly, bench press is is one of my favorite movements, but I'm also very cautious because about a year ago, I actually strained my pec. 
um because as you can tell i don't really use spotters and um i feel like ben <laughs> bench press i can't just drop it um right you can't just let it go like in squat you could just drop the weight and deadlifts if it doesn't move then you just don't pick it up but bench press is a different beast in itself but this session went extremely well i was really happy with the weight the way the weight was moving look at that easy Whew, look at that flare <laughs> sorry i'm a little extra sometimes but you just, i just get pumped that's why okay let's see this squat session was my light squat session it was my variation squat session uh, i did 385 pounds four sets of six weight was moving very very smooth this day uh not much to say about it i was real happy with it um yeah, with squats, I always, every time I'm squatting, I make sure, like right here, I go down, and then I go up, and I take a deep breath, and I make sure the weight stops moving before I go down again. Um, I see a lot of people, they go down real fast, and that's awesome, that's great if you can do that, but I'm like I said, I'm very cautious when it comes to my training. I don't like getting injured. I, I rarely actually get injured, except last year. Last year was just, <laughs> was just bad. It was the first time in 15 years of lifting that I got injured while lifting any type of weights. But yeah, real smooth, real good session. And then, yeah, come on, I lost weight. Oh look, there's Nate and uh, Josh. Those guys are awesome. Shout out to them, cool guys. All right, let's see what's next. This right here was my heavy squat session. This was uh, 430 pounds. Uh, the way it was moving, really, really good. I was a little worried coming into this uh, training session because last week, um, this exact same weight <laughs> was uh, RPE death. It felt super heavy. It felt like, um, I thought I was gonna miss reps at uh, last week. So I do four by four and I thought I was gonna miss some reps, but uh, I actually got it done last week and this week the way it was moving really good um, as you can tell it just it was just fine really happy with this session going into this this set i was being very cautious just because the last time i deadlifted um on sunday i actually you know like i like i said i hurt my groin a little bit and when i while i was warming up for sumos i felt it a little tender but uh, it actually wasn't an issue. I ended up just doing uh, two sets with 455 just to test it out. It felt good. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna move up and wait. So we did this 475 right here on the bar. And uh, let me tell you, the weight was moving fantastic. Um, real, really good, really good. I loved it. <laughs> Positioning was great. Uh, the power was there. Look at that. Every time you're doing your deadlifts or your squat, you got to make sure you take, you need to exaggerate when you take in a deep, deep breath, exaggerate the breath. And then uh, look at that, I was real happy. <laughs> That's it. If you've made it this far to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If by any chance you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What? Did I just say that? Yes. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Catch you on the next one. Peace.